Hi, I'm Sophie Michelle, and today I'm going to show you how to make a really vibrant salad using the Rolls Royce of Clementine's Clement Gold. They really do have a fantastic flavour, colour and texture. So first of all, I'm going to make the dressing. It's quite a zingy salad, so I'm going to have some Clement Gold, zest and juice in, some olive oil, vinegar, salt and pepper. For the salad, I've got some really vibrant ingredients. We've got lovely pink beetroot, very iron-rich watercress, some mixed leaves, tangy goat cheese, chives and fennel. Now for the dressing. I'm going to actually uh, cook the dressing to kind of concentrate the flavour. Clement Golds are great for this because they are so juicy, you really get a lot of yield from one fruit. So squeezing the juice, smells just fantastic already. And then... I'm going to add a little bit of zest. And normally I'd add a bit of sugar at this point, but quite frankly, because they're so sweet, I don't think I need to. Then a good glug of vinegar. And that just goes on the stove for about five minutes to reduce it down and concentrate the flavours. So now that's ready and it's just going to cool down on the stove. So on to our Clement Gold. I love slicing them so they look really, really pretty. It accentuates the colour and the shape of it. To do this, I just top and tail it, then peel off the skin. And you can see how easy it is. That's why it's so great for kids to have them as snacks. So then I just slice it into almost flowers to go throughout my salad. This is a great way to serve Clement Gold because they have such little pith that you don't really have any bitterness at all. Now, the other way, if you've got a bit more time, you can cut it into segments like this. So for this, it takes a little bit more time and effort. You cut out, top and tail it, then cut out the pith completely. Then you just take off all the rind. And then you simply run the knife down between the pith so you come out with perfect tiny little segments. So now I'm going to start prepping my other salad ingredients. Now get yourself a nice big bowl. Basically for this salad I've chosen fennel because it's got really good aniseed flavour and it's nice and crisp. So you want to kind of cut it as thinly as possible. If you have a Japanese mandolin that's great but to be honest with you, you can do it with a knife. So cut out the core and then just cut it into nice crisp little slices. Okay, so that's the fennel all done. Then I've got some really beautiful iron-rich watercress. I like it because it gives a kind of peppery flavour to things. So mix that in and some more neutral leaves to give it a bit of body and also colour and texture. And then last but not least, we have beetroot. Now, it does stay in your fingers, guys, but it gives such a lovely colour and texture and shape to salads that it's worth it. So I'm just going to quarter them and add them in. I'm adding them last again because they do tend to run away of themselves and stay in everything else. Now, also for the dressing, I'm going to have some chives. Chives give that more sa savoury um, flavour. So just cut them nice and finely. And this is to be mixed into the dressing. The dressing is now really very concentrated and it looks and smells fantastic. I'm mixing the chives into the dressing so it spreads around the salad more. All the dressing needs now is a good turn of pepper, a good bit of salt, sea salt's always best, and some lovely olive oil. So I'm going to put half of the dressing in with the leaves and half of the dressing gets drizzled round. Doesn't that look lovely? Okay, so now to plate up. Now it really works because you have the crunch of the fennel and the colour from the beetroot and then that kind of sweet zingy flavour of the clement gold cuts through it all. So pile it up. And then I'm simply going to take some rindless goat cheese and crumble it over the top. For a final burst of colour, I have my wonderful slices of clement gold. Little, little drizzle. So Clement Gold can be used in so many different ways, in dressings, marinades, with meat, fish and duck, and of course in desserts. So there we go, there's my fantastically zingy Clement Gold salad.